Hey everybody, welcome back. Comic review time, or basically I geek out about a comic book that I am reading, or a series I'm reading, or whatever. I'm new to comics, I fucking love it, I'm super obsessed. And today, we're here to take a look at the first two issues of... Rocket Raccoon from the Grounded series. So um, I'm digging this. I'm really digging this. Uh, let's let's see. Let's let's do what we like to do though, as it was suggested. Let's let's start with the credits. So this is uh, written by Matthew Rosenberg. The artist is Jorge or George uh, Colho. I think that's a C O E L H O. Uh, colorist Antonio the Bella. And letterer is Jeff Eckleberry, and the cover is David Nakayama. So, you know what, here, let me just, since I may have mispronounced some of those, there you go, that's who made this book, so they, they deserve the credit. Um, cause, especially because I'm really liking this. So apparently, the Guardians of the Galaxy, their ship has been blown up, they've all been scattered, they're kind of all going through a grounded series. Um, I'm gonna be reading the uh, Star-Lord one soon. But I thought I would start with Rocket, because I've been reading bits and pieces of Rocket and various uh, uh, Howard the Duck things and really, really digging this character. So, um, you know, it just starts off with Rocket being like, this planet sucks. He's walking through a busy Times Square. Uh, he's really aggravated. Everybody's calling him Raccoon and just looking at him funny. And he, uh, he meets a fake Iron Man who's like, you know, trying to do like one of those people who dresses up and gets paid to have their picture taken which I don't know how that's legal, but whatever. Um, well, I guess cosplay, so I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, he bumps into a homeless man who's like talking about how he's starving, and he's in Rocket's a hero, can he help? So he goes in, he can't pay for the food, so he just takes the food, because he's talking about this galactic law, says you have to feed people, all this kind of stuff. So now the cops, of course, are on him, and they spot him, and they're tracking him down uh, to the uh, subway, <laughs> and before you know it, there's like 20 cops gonna pick up uh, Rocket, and try and take him in, but obviously he ain't having it. And he starts beating the crap out of these police officers. And when he arrives at the next subway stop, holy poop, a lot of SWAT officers. He's gonna have a hard time getting through that. But Johnny Storm, of the oh, ex-Fantastic Four apparently shows up to save him. Um, let's see, so you know, basically they're talking about it, and this is where Rocket finds out people keep pets because they have the, uh, the big dog I haven't really read about uh, from the Inhumans and keeping as a pet, and that freaks Rocket out. So Rocket goes to this old dive bar of a bunch of, uh, you know, aliens who are hiding out kind of thing, and he gets this information about this guy, is it Dr. Soft Teeth? I think it's Soft Teeth, that can help get him off world. So he goes and to see, yes, yeah, so he goes to see Soft Teeth in his office, and he works out a deal. He's gonna be able to get off world and get back out into space, and you know, this guy is a shapeshifter too. He's actually, I believe, a Cree shapeshifter, or was it a Cree? You, you guys can tell me if I'm wrong, if I don't see it here. Oh, scroll, excuse me. Um, but then as the guy goes away and he's gonna come back out, he comes back, his body kinda walks out, but it's missing his head. And there's an alien hunter who has taken his head and now is looking at rockets. That ain't gonna go well. So that was issue one, really, really enjoyed that. Um, this art style, by the way, before I get to number two, I really like it, because to me, it very much harkens back to the comics of my childhood, kind of the mid to late 80s that art style, so I dig that a lot, actually. I love a lot of the modern style, but that old style is cool, too. So here's issue number two. Quite excited for it. I believe it's gonna have the same uh, team, same creative team. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, so then we just jump back in here. So he starts fighting this headhunter guy and, uh, you know, ends up putting up quite a fight, blows a hole through him, ha ha, murdered you! And uh, it's really fun to hear Bradley Cooper's voice as I'm, as I'm reading all of this, too, by the way. Um, so, so he gets out of there because the cops are coming. I don't know how they knew to go there, but they're trying to come there. And I love this too about, oh, you know, they see him running down the fire escape. They're like, oh, it's just a cat in a jumpsuit, stopping a cab to carjack it. <laughs> and of course, Rocket learns that, you know, cabs are, if you just give them money, they'll take you where you want to go. So Rocket gives him all the money he's got, goes back to the bar, starts trying to question all the patrons. Uh, the boss doesn't like it, so they kick him out. And then he runs into this guy who knows about Soft Teeth, because Soft Teeth was supposed to get him off, uh, off world. And he explains all the alien hunters and uh, basically they have a nice little conversation. He's gonna help them when the owner and a bunch of the patrons of the dive bar come out to be like, stop pestering my people. And they start beating the crap out of Rocket when uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man shows up. So that was quite a pleasant surprise for me because I'm, I'm starting to learn about that character and really, really digging what I'm learning. And you know, he has a hard time with like, wait, I don't want to call him a raccoon and all that. So they have a pretty good rapport and talking about him being a new Spider-Man, that kind of stuff. And <laughs> he's gonna attack. And uh, they try to fight a little bit. I mean, like, look at that, man. He's pounding his head into the pole and everything. And Rocket goes for his gun, but Spider-Man's like, wait, 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 I can help you, I can help you. And, uh, 
He gives him his stuff, and but uh, Rocket doesn't really want the help. So he actually does suggest using his nose, and Rocket's like, I don't do that, blah, blah. But when he gets away, he uses his nose. Tracks uh, down all the way through um, through the city, and he gets he gets ca- captured in a bag, but then he blasts his way out of the, well, he tries to blast his way out of the bag till he's, you know, knocked out by a crowbar. And look, uh-oh, I believe that's Craven the Hunter. I don't really know anything about him other than a basic look. So that's the end of issue number two. And I'm really, really excited to see what we're going to get in issue number three. I am actually, this one took me very little time to get into. Um, I think before the first issue is over, I was hooked. I think basically after uh, his, you know, I think, yeah, definitely by the time he shot the alien guy in the second issue, I was absolutely hooked with the whole murder Jew thing. But really, really dig this book. Excited for number three. Excited to keep reading. So what about you guys? Are you reading this book uh, between the first two issues? Which is your favorite? Uh, you know, uh, let me know. Let me geek out in the comments. Uh, what do you think about this book? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me the thumb of encouragement. I'm going to get out of here, read some more books, and I'll see you guys later. Later.